This is a short example of using SoftBits Live. SoftBits um, I created to make my programming tasks on the Arduino much easier. It's a simple uh, processing model. Uh, SoftBit Live uses basically bytecodes, which are down here. And the web page here is executing these bytecodes. And it can also send bytecodes down to a sketch running on an Arduino. Um, the web page can be configured to talk to an Arduino backend by using the Arduino soft bit where we configure the host and port. So what can I do with a uh, soft bits live? So the simplest thing is to run everything in the web page. So I have this slider control and for instance I can then grab a graph. And so now basically as I move the slider up and down the graph changes. So this is all running in the web page. So I here also have an Arduino connect configured. So I can use the send. And what I want to do is I want to send this to say um, A5. So I'm sending this value here over to the A5 output. So in this on the just behind here, this is the A5 and this is the A9 of this uh, Arduino. What I've done on this example is today I I modified my Arduino, added the uh, SPI header, and this is a seed Ethernet shield. Um, it's powered using um, this uh, dev bit from the uh, Little Bits HDX kit, which providing power. And I had to hard solder a uh, wire from D10 on the Arduino module to D10 on the uh, Ethernet controller. So these these two bar graphs are on A5 and A9. And on A0 input I have uh, an oscillator. So what I can do with the Little Bits program here is as I move the slide up and down, you can see that the value is being sent down to the Arduino, and the Arduino is outputting it onto the A5 output. Now what I can also do is I can say, for instance, start another chain of components and do something like uh, input say the A0 which on the Arduino is connected to an oscillator and send that to the A5. So now the on the Arduino end it is reading from A0 and outputting to, to uh, A5. So the byte codes for that basically at the bottom here. So these byte codes are running in the web page and these byte codes are running in the Arduino on the Arduino Softbits Live sketch. So, for instance, if I take the output from A9 and put it over here on, oops, missed. Put it over here onto the uh, slider. So, if I move this up and down, you can see that the A9 output now moves up and down. Now, for instance, obviously the I can change the speed of the oscillator. It goes so faster, and faster and slower. Now the oscillator sort is a sawtooth, which goes high and ramps down down low. So, for instance, I can use the some of the soft bits processing capability, and disconnect the output momentarily, and say, for instance, use an arithmetic inverter. So this will just basically complement the signal. So now it's ramping up instead of ramping down. As an example. Same thing's true with the uh I could also do the same thing with the Put a proper inverter in here. And 
so now if, as this goes up, the output on A9 goes down and vice versa, so I've complemented it. So this variable length wire is one of the newer features I put in over the weekend. Turn the volume. Let's turn the volume down. So if you didn't see an earlier, these are handles, so this one rotates the piece, this one deletes it. So this is, when it's connected like this, it's running in the um, web page. So it behaves in the web page. I can demonstrate that by, do I have that? No, I don't have one here. So if I take something that only runs in the web page, such as the graphs, So it's running in the web page. So it's in the web page domain. So I take something that's an Arduino domain and it won't it won't actually dock. It actually pushes it away. So that's a good example of uh emulating the sort of little bits you can't go wrong. If it if it snaps it works somehow. It won't let, won't let me attach. So some things can be can run both the Arduino domain or the uh, little the uh, web page domain. So I can just keep playing with this and just doing different things here. So basically, if one goes up, one goes down. <coughs> Oops. Um, oh yeah, we can do the uh, two uh, two up. So the uh, uh, what can we use? Oh, let's grab the. Um, we're going to grab one of the uh, the oscillator again, the counter, the lo the web page oscillator, basically. And we need that corner back. Mm -hmm. So the red line here is from the second input. So we now have two two things being plotted at the same time. And you can do all the usual things. You can play with, um, you can play with logic. Uh, find. Um, oops. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's choose the uh, push switch. Currently I'm using the same graphic that I use for the slide. I haven't changed the graphic. This is a push switch. So when you press it, it changes. So here you can see that it's uh, gating the um, counter. So when this, when I press here, it's this is upside. Uh, you can't really tell it from here. Um, Let's 
let's, let's put that on the... I need to rotate you. Let me just drop you guys on there. So you hear the exclusive all function changes polarity when I change this. So lots of fun can be had. <laughs> 